welcome to the takeover. Super dry, super fly, every day I'm super dry. Super dry, super dry, super dry, super dry. Super dry is the place to shop. Got Japanese teas with adventures pop. Hey yo, ain't no other place to go. Hey yo, we be international. Let's go. Shop in the UK. Take a G6, I'm a block away. Baby, it's a holiday. Okay. I be on a world tour. Shop till I drop. Got clothes galore in Asia, Australia, in London. We major. Unique with our urban clothes. Superdry.com, make you touch your toes. Unique with our urban clothes. Superdry.com, make you touch your toes. So fresh, I'm cool for school. I don't even wear shades. I pity the fool. So fresh, I'm cool for school. I don't even wear shades. So I pity the fool. Two Englishmen traveled from England to Tokyo. Super dry. Japanese inspired. Super dry, super fly. Every day I'm super dry. Super dry, super dry. Super dry, super dry. Super dry, super fly. Every day I'm super dry. Super dry, super dry. Super dry, super dry. I said you welcome. I look good, you look good. I said you welcome. As you already know, you're now tuned in to one of the hottest online publications that there is, Vocab Magazine. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Vocab TV Tali. Standing to my right, we have You Know, recording artists doing some amazing things these days. And uh, today is day four of the Super Draw shoot. You want to give us a little description on, you know, different locations, the ideas and concepts behind putting this video together? Well, I got to give credit to my team, you know, Nadine, LaCrown, Bianca, and everybody that, you know, helped put this project together four day shoot um, a lot of hard work we did a lot of different locations we did 42nd Street South Tree Sea Seaport we did uh, the airport we also did Soho so you know it was a lot of different you know with the brand we wanted to capture the, dif the different energy and capture the brand to its entirety so we wanted to match the intensity and let them see it from our point of view you know, so that's basically what we did when it came to the shooting of the video. Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, it's a day four. And unfortunately, vocab wasn't on scene for any of the other days. We got to get a quick glimpse today of some of the things that they were doing. And you was mentioning the brand. Let's talk about how you and Superdry actually connected to do this collaboration. Um, basically, it started off because um, as me as a model, you know, um, I got hired to model for the clothing store. And... The lady that was our supervisor, she basically said that she's given us the okay to come up with different ideas. So, you know, one of my team members, the crown was like, you know, has a song for it. And I didn't really actually have a song for it, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make it happen. So, you know, I went through several different beats. Um, the beat struck me, you know, stood up all night and the lyrics just came to me like magic and here we are. So that's how it all came about. and. We here, vocab is here, and we out here grind mode, getting it in. <laughs> All right, so briefly, let's talk about um, what we can expect with the video, the looks, and um, what's next after this video for your entire project. Um, well, basically, the looks, high standard fashion, you know, like like we always do, like we always represent, represent the brand super dry as well. Um, what could we what could we expect from this? Nothing but the best. You know, my team is incredible. We don't sleep. We work around the clock, so our goal is to market this and take this to, you know, to the upscale, go international with it. What's next for me um, is basically my album, um, which is called European Dreams, and that's basically where I'm going with it, international. You know, I'm thinking, branded-wise, I'm thinking big, you know, I'm not trying to just settle for any small little thing. I believe the music industry is so big now, and I believe that you could do so much more with just limiting yourself as a music artist, as a rapper, just staying in one box. So I'm opening up my lanes of just taking this this music thing as far as I can, I can reach. Yes, and uh, like I said, I, I got the opportunity to listen to some of the music firsthand myself, and you're definitely taking it to another level as being an artist. So, you know, for some of the fans out there that may want to get more in tune with you knowing things of that nature, you want to open up some of your social outlets to where they could, you know, follow you, follow your music, and, you know, follow Super Dry as well? Definitely check me out on Facebook, which is You Know The Don, U-K-N-O-T-H-A-D-O-N. Hit me up on Twitter, You Know Mania. Um, Google my name, You Know The Don. Go on YouTube, check out all my latest videos, see the people that I've worked with. I've been blessed to, you know, 
to, you know, been on a lot of different syndications and we just out here grinding, just, you know, starting all over again and just rebranding ourselves and making this making this thing work. So that's where we at right now with it. Yeah, definitely. We ain't going to take too much more of your time. I know it's day four, tired, and uh, we definitely want to get, you know, some some words with the, the creative director behind the video and the videographer themselves. So it's a big team, big. And big to my right, we have Abel and Pedro, the two videographers behind the video. So you guys look like you're putting in some heavy work. I'm pretty sure y'all y'all love what y'all do, but let's give, give us some ideas of some of the places that y'all did the work and how, how difficult or how easy was it for you guys to actually capture the shot that y'all wanted to capture? Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of locations were things that were um, easy to get and able to just you know execute the, the shots right away. Um, a lot of the things that we did, it was very spontaneous, but organized at the same time. Uh, we didn't have a problem, you know, going out there shooting. You know, Pedro is like the guy that jumps if he needs to jump with the camera. And, and, you know, he's a great DP for me. And you know, directing the video was really fun as well. Uh, we already had an idea where we wanted to go, and we had a pre-plan and everything. So it, it went well when it comes down to location. So we shot at the at a YouTube studio headquarters. Uh, we shot at Times Square. We also shot at here in Seaport, and we shot at uh, St. Mark's Place as well as at LaGuardia Airport. So you're gonna find a lot of really, really cool scenes for those locations, and we try to grab the essence of each one to represent different locations throughout the world. So Pedro, you want to add on to that? How how fun was this video for yourself? It was a very, very good experience working with uh, a, an amazing group of people that were able to bring a huge team together and actually work on uh, every single detail that we needed to do. And the great thing is about New York is that you can go in like 15 minutes and you're in a totally different scenario, different atmosphere. And, you know, getting there, you know, you look up and you have amazing uh, shots for photography and, you know, to put the guys in different uh, situation so it was it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun yeah so Abel you and Pedro y'all always work together or is this something one of the few projects that y'all do get to work with each other on yeah this is one of the few projects that we actually got to shoot together I actually shoot together uh, the rest we've been sort of very creative and other things and like when it comes down to like post production uh, bring up concepts and but this is like actually the first video we actually set down from beginning to end uh, the other ones were more like, you know, he'll show up and give his input. The other one is like, actually, he was more hands-on and more involved than ever before. So, and, and I'm really proud and glad that he actually jumped the board. I mean, it's not easy to get a guy like this every day. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it, for me, it was an honor and a pleasure to always work with him and at this level of, of, of work. And also, the good thing about the, the whole group is the, the open-mindedness of everybody, you know. Like, we were all able to give our ideas and the acceptance, and also, if something was not... Uh, it was not gonna work. We were able to say, okay, so let it go, and we go a different route. So it was, it was definitely, definitely. So for everybody out there that may want to get in tune with you guys' work, you want to open up any outlets and things like that to where they can see your work or even get in contact with you if they want to bring you on board to do some projects for them. Yeah, uh, you, I work collectively. Uh, I don't like working by myself because I feel that I'm not selfish and I'm still in the learning process as well as everybody else here. And I think that uh, what you can find me is on Vimeo slash everything around you. So it's just a, it represents a collective work from everyone, uh, me by me guiding with it and being the leader of it as well as involving everybody else with me. So that's why I call everything around you. I also, you know, I do a lot of spontaneous work, and I don't mind, you know, changing things if you need to change it. Um, but you can catch see some of my work and see this work at Vimeo slash Everything Around You. Do you have any outlets over there as well, Pedro? Yeah, well, uh, you can find me on Facebook uh, at Pedro Pepper. Uh, that's how I have it. Uh, my email is pfvintimilla at gmail.com. And uh, basically, uh, I'm, I, I'm kind of growing into being a multimedia artist. I've been usually doing more of a fine art, but now I'm jumping into a little more, uh, a bigger area of, uh, of the art. So I'm always ready to jump into any kind of project. Fine arts with this video. Who makes it? So we're still down here at the seaport and we wanted to get more in tune with one of the major groups that was a part of this super job um, shoot and things like that, the La Crown group. So we're going to go down the board to get all of you guys' names and things of that nature. Yeah. My name is Sia Shiraz and uh, I did this uh, commercial and the music video and it's so fabulous. I had the best time ever working with this great team. Brian Johnson and you know the Don, he's the boss. I must tell you this is going to be the next big thing. 
and I'm pretty sure that uh, he's going to make it big and I wish him luck for his future projects and I think that the, the, I think we, I, I look I look everyone as a family the people I work with you know so much fun and uh, I believe like everyone here who work like so we work so hard and like we getting we getting there you know you know what I'm saying that's what I can say we getting there. Well, as introduced, I'm LaCrown Johnson, and I will have to say the same. I'm excited to be on this project as a model, and you'll get to see my part featured. I know you couldn't see behind the scenes, but we have a fashion show in it, so that's the fun part. Um, but I'm really excited. It's definitely something that is going to take off, and I can't wait till it does. Hi, uh, I'm Ibnu, and um, yeah, it's been fantastic being part of this project. It's a great experience, because um, we're pretty much the incognition of, uh, you know, the dawn. He's pretty much the super dryer and he's trying to, um, you know, as a state of being super dry people to impress their lives, you know, improve their lives. So it's been fantastic and, you know, it's, it's, it's just the character behind everything and the, the concept and, you know, Don made this idea and he made this work because um, it's from a, a song and then he wanted to become um, more in-depth with it. So he created a commercial and a music video. So I think this is going pretty far. So LaCrown, let's get a few words from you. LaCrown, the, the LaCrown group is something that's really big. It's becoming a big thing. Let's talk about some of the things that you actually work on aside from videos and things like that and the modeling thing. Oh, well, um, I've been blessed for a lot of different opportunities. Uh, I'm uh, as a model, yes, but I also like to get other models and actresses and actors um, work, paid work. So um, I've taken it along with You Know the Dawn um, upon ourselves to become casting directors for certain outlets that we've been blessed to have that have utilized us as talent and now getting talent to become the forefront. So not only am I on the stage, but I'm behind, I'm backstage, which is kind of cool. So it's good to be the best of both worlds. Yeah, absolutely. So real quick, um, you want to give out some of the outlets to where they can see more of the La Crown Group and all of your work? Bill Cunningham Show, Harlem 125 Hair Company, um, various things. I mean, to be honest, day by day, I just continue to get blessed and uh, Gen TV. Uh, I mean, I can keep going, um, but we have everywhere from the urban to the high fashion editorial. So you're never a talent that can't be explored. So how someone that's looking at this interview could get more in touch with you? Any social media outlets that you want to give out? Well, I am a Facebook lover. So you can contact me on my Facebook as well as see any updates for anything upcoming if you want to be a part as talent, as Ibnu and Saeed have learned and we love. Um, you can go on my Facebook backslash LaCrown, L-A-C-R-O-W-N. And you can contact me via email, lacrownj at gmail.com. Thank you very much. We want to say thank you. Never mind his super dry with my English accent, I'm super fly. Stand up for this crazy guy, make room, make room, I'm super dry. Never mind his super dry with my English accent, I'm super fly. Stand up for this crazy guy, make room, make room, I'm super dry. I'm